This morning we will discuss is there a dog breed with natural body armor? And this is a little bit of a relationship with the David Ishii uh, video. David Ishii is from uh, a Bandog program and also genetically involved in the dogs that he said, for example. If we know genetics, we can cure dog diseases, but also give them other properties like armor. And the short answer to this uh, question is, there's already a dog or two dog breeds with natural body armor. And those dogs are Hungarian dog breeds. And they are the Commando, which is a very big one, and the Puli. And they both have uh, similar body armor. And you could compare that with uh, what humans have as dreadlocks, uh, like the Rastafarias. So it's really tight. So it's a really tight type of dreadlock, and not only covering the head, of course, but the entire body. And it can weigh easily multiple kilograms. In case of Commander, easy 10 kilogram or 20 kilogram, depending on the size of the dog and the coat length of course it gives you an insight of how enormous this uh, body armor can be and this uh, body armor of course because it is a coat has the benefit of keeping it warm but it's far more than that it's also not like uh, snouts or terriers have in their facial hair to protect them against rat bites this is a type of body armor that really helps against uh, serious biting incident because it is enormously thick and you could compare it also with another natural uh, species and that's uh, Muscosos which is a very big type of sheep the size of a, a diesel so to say and there's and also this very tight uh, hair that protects them from the elements but also from predators so this is uh, something interesting to see and the, both are Hungarian based and they uh, of course have a lot of benefits as I mentioned but also drawbacks as I mentioned as well. The weight will be sincerely up. Of course their uh, body mass as such would also increase with the coat but their uh, dependency on food doesn't uh, increase that much because you could imagine that it takes quite some energy to make such a big coat all the time so this coat never sheds it just yeah, forms its bundles of protective layers and then uh, normally <coughs> in the show circuit this is cut or in the, in the wild this is uh, pulled off or just ruptured when it gets stuck in something, into something. And also, of course, a lot of dirt will go into there. So you could get an, uh, a body or odor also from the dirt. I'm not saying that it isn't uh, dirt repelling because it is to quite some degree, but it can also soak it up. And people that have dreads can also attest to this. It is not without uh, a drawback, of course. But it's an interesting fact and also gives you uh, more insight into this uh, specific traits that dogs have uh, been developed to carry. I hope you like this video and you will uh, take some time to look up the Commodore and the Puli and uh, see for yourself. The Puli is a little bit uh, bigger than this uh, plastic that you see here on the leash. The Commando is really a giant, really a gi giant type of dog. And both are shepherd type of uh, breeds, a little bit like a bobtail for example, in build. But uh, yeah, completely different coat as I mentioned. And this, the key to this coat is of course also lying in the jeans, as David Ishi uh, told us that you could have the, the armor of an armadillo, for example, in a dog. But this is a natural type of, of uh, 
of armor that has uh, benefits against the elements and also especially in the case of the commander also against the sun because it's quite light and also it uh, will help yeah, just reflect the sun you see this also in camels for example those those camels oftentimes also develop something that uh, resembles a dreadlock well have a great day bye bye on this sunny day we will discuss why the pit dogs have such a short coat and no undercoat there was a question asked by a subscriber and i think his rationale is that if the coat is uh, longer it will also offer uh, more protection and also if you have an undercoat you have an additional insulation not only for the heat but also for damage and of course there is some wisdom in that but there's also a reason why those coats are not as uh, long and undercoat in the, those pit dogs. The subscriber thought that perhaps the speed dog pit dogs were of original Roman or otherwise coming from warm countries. So if they are the descendants of the Roman war dogs, this could play a role. And of course this could play a role. But it's also something else and that something else is that a pit dog needs to be able to go the long haul and therefore um, needs heat management so the thicker the coat is and you know, especially if you have an undercoat of course it will offer some protection but it has tremendous drawbacks in heat management so those dogs will overheat far easier than dogs with a short coat and even so sometimes in this uh, modern day and age you see that people even shave the short coats of their, uh, their dogs to give them even better heat management and uh, as such it illustrates this fact even more so those dogs are then shaved on the big parts of the body only the muzzle and some of the lower parts of their um, balls are then still kept untouched because those parts will probably have the highest chance of uh, yeah, getting injuries so i hope this uh, short video helps giving you insight and uh, it was a nice interesting question